what is up guys, it's SJ Eagle here, and uh, I'm in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Hey, what is up, guys? It's SJ Eagle here, and today I'm with Nolan33. Anyway, this is my cousin Nolan. Um, we're actually going to be having a, se a special second guest on today. He's going to be my cousin Joel. But anyway, um, so today, as you saw in the intro, I'm in Myrtle Beach, and the reason why this came out on a Saturday and not a Friday is because. Um, I drove from my hometown down here all day yesterday, so there was none of the none of that, no no video yesterday. But luckily you stuck around because we've got a great video for you guys today. So today, uh, our subject is um, funny cop calls. So these are that we made sure that none of these guys got arrested because the past two Take Flight Fridays have been people that got arrested. So we wanted to change it up. These guys did not get arrested. But yeah, they did manage to tick off the police quite a bit. Yeah. So anyway, let's get started into this TFF. And uh, I've got my first story right here. It says, the headline is, my what thin walls you have. It says, a Canadian woman dialed 911 after hearing yelling and shouting come her, from her neighbor's apartment. Okay. Sounds legit. When cops arrived, they pounded on the door until the occupant finally opened up. That's when they discovered that the man was in no danger. He'd just been having a rough time on the toilet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that one. That I saw that really one. Weird. Um, just to let you know, um, five of these stories are going to be... No, I think all of these stories are from Reader's Digest. If you look up Funny Cop Calls, it'll be the first one to come up. So if you want to go check out more that we didn't list, uh, they'll be right there. So just go check out their page. All right. Okay, this one is called In the Old West. It was a hang in the fence. When a seven-year-old girl called 911 and then hang, hung up, the Burnett, Wisconsin police were dispatched to her home. When they arrived, they discovered the problem. The girl's grandfather was cheating in a game of cards. <laughs> Very odd. I, don't, I didn't get that one at first, but I got it after, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> Hey, you get to do the next one, too. Okay. I actually, I made sure that I did not read his stories, so it would, it would be a surprise to me. Okay, so the next one is uh, Time Wasted Du Bois 999 Calls Tie Up With Resources. Um, police were far from amused this week when a furious Manchester United fan rang 999. This is in Europe, so it's different. After his team was dumped out of the Capital One Cup, the well-refreshed <laughs> caller demanded to speak to the Red Devils' ex-manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, after the defeat by Sunderland. He then declared, I want, a report, I want to report a crime. The crime is that Manchester United was absolutely knackered. Why? This guy, he obviously doesn't know what the line is and how not to go too far. But. All right. So, um, uh, I hope you guys liked those ones, but, uh, we'll be right back, and I'm gonna be with my second special guest, guest, anyway, uh, I hope you guys, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the first half with my cousin Nolan. And we're back, guys. So, for this next story that I'm gonna be delivering for you guys, have you ever seen something so realistic, so 4K, so... 1080p is kind of been a thing in the past for realistic gamers. But anyway, have you ever seen something so realistic that it's scary? Well, this woman did. You see, she was at her. Uh, she was at a Canadian football game. Um, now, actually, not sure. I'm pretty sure that football in Canada is. Uh, yes, I said Canada yeah. is um, uh, soccer. Correct me on that. Not sure. I'm pretty sure that no, in the I'm U.S. Sure we're the that. only ones that call football. Uh, I don't just know. a longer Football. field, three downs, and they have trumpets before every game, which is very odd. Yeah, I think that's what Oh, well, what just is. let us it's know down soccer. below. But anyway, after receiving a frantic 911 call, the Regina Canada Fire Department raced off to battle an inferno at the local Canadian Football League stadium. The fire, it turns out, was a burning log displayed on the stadium's giant video screen. Now, those are some oh scary good gosh. graphics. Telling you what... I mean, those aren't even that good graphics. Come on. Oh, that's not the real picture. Okay. <laughs> but if I them. saw something 
that's scary. I'd be calling 911 too. I mean, that's that'd be awesome. I'd love to be sitting there playing freaking Skyrim in 4K. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So this article is called ET Con. He stopped phoning. When a British man saw a mysterious flying object that lit up the sky, he immediately called the authorities. But before the police could react, the man called back, saying, "Mystery solved. The UFO was actually the moon." <laughs> so this man is dumb enough. <laughs> All right. So everyone knows what the moon looks like. And everyone's seen pictures of a fake UFO, right? There are literally festivals about the moon. Like, how do you not know what it looks like? Uh, I don't know what this guy I was thinking on that one. Ah, uh, okay. So Joel's going to give his next story. All right. This article is called Calling the Lunch Police. <laughs> it's a sign of the police. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, a Jacksonville, Florida man was so upset when a sandwich shop left the special sauce off his hero that he called 911 <laughs> twice twice okay 911 did you just okay. say that <laughs> okay he called 911 <laughs> he called 911 twice which is not <laughs> smart praise the, allah <laughs> the first time was to ask if officers could make sure his sandwich was made properly the second time to complain that the cops weren't responding fast enough. <laughs> so this guy complained about the cops, which, mind you, answered probably first ring, if not before that, unless I, they have all their officers out. Doing I something. didn't get my mayo. I don't know. She's an outrage. This guy is raging about forgetting their barbecue sauce on his little sandwich. Sorry about that, guys. There was a small interruption, but it's okay. We're right back. Um, Nolan's come back to join us for my last story. So anyway, to finish off this Take Flight Friday slash Saturday, um, we've got a very lazy man. Now, I've known some lazy people, uh, my sister being one, but this is, this is pretty funny. So after making numerous calls, oh, by the way, the thing is called I Just Didn't like, Feel Like Going Out. It says, after making numerous calls to 911, a Lundar, Canada man was warned that the next one would land him in jail. Almost got arrested, but he still qualified. That prompted him to reveal his real reason for calling. He says, quote unquote, if you're coming to get me, can you bring me some smokes? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this guy, now, is he, just, it's, he actually wants to get in jail. Like. We've got... Ladies and gentlemen, we are ending this episode Lord. with the laziest chronic smoker I know. So that's terrible. Eaglets of all kind. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, come back here next Friday. I'm hoping to get some vlogs this week, so you won't have to wait that long. But anyway, this has been S.J. Eagle, Nolan, and Joel. We're signing off. See you.